Today I am giving you guys a quick review on this um, sensational Jamaican bounce um, crochet that I have in. So I just installed this hair today. Um, I will insert a clip of my braid pattern right here. Okay, so you guys saw my braid pattern. Very simple, very easy. The only thing I did different this time was I left um, a little bit more hair out in the front. All I did was just leave the perimeter of my front out. I left about an inch, I would actually say maybe an inch or maybe three quarters of an inch right up here in the front. Um, just so I could maybe pull it back up into like half a path down and the knots would be covered right here in the front. So also I did a middle part with this hair and I can also do a side part as well. So I've got about three styles and possibly four if I wear it all up in a bun or ponytail with maybe like a head wrap or something like that. So I've got four possible styles with this hair and so far I am loving it. So this is how the hair looks right out of the package. It comes in just a little small pack and I use three of these um, and I have a fairly large head so keep that in mind. So if you have a smaller head you can definitely get away with just using two of these. I believe they're about $7.99 a pack which is great um, and they come like this. So it says 26 inches, but the whole strand is gonna be 26 inches, not when you split it in two. Um, so you get about 13 inches per, you know, per side, you know, once you go ahead and crochet it. All right, so a couple of tips um, that I do have in order for your hair to look as natural as possible. I don't even have a couple, I have like one. <laughs> Um, I do personally, I do not like, it's a lot of clapping going on today. Personally, I do not like, um, when you see the like individual cornrows in your, like in people's crochet. Some people may like it, some people don't. I, I know that when, you know, you first get it done, you're going to see the individual like actual rows or actual, you know, cornrows. And then over time, as you know, the weeks go by, the hairs in the front are gonna get a little bit looser, of course, and then it'll look a little bit more natural over time. So because I don't wear my hair very long, I just skip to like, it's been in for like a week or two kind of phase. And in order for me to do that, I, no matter if I leave the front out or whatever, I pretty much always have like my baby hair out plus a little more like plus a little extra so the tip that i have for you is very simple um in order to avoid those kind of lines that you see to make it look a little bit more natural i partner like i pair two cornrows at a time so you know how you go ahead and crochet you know crochet your hair but when you start to get to the front make sure you take two of those rows and take a you know split your hair your actual you know synthetic hair in half or maybe in thirds and take three two or three of those and actually take the corn row together and um crochet it together that will i hope that's making sense it's very easy what i'm trying to say if you don't really understand what i'm trying to say look in my past video i'm just really just taking a strand of hair two cornrows pinching them together and closing that like little gap that you'll see what it'll do is it'll end up closing the gap so people won't be able to like see your scalp straight away and know that you have crochet in your hair they'll just see hair if that's making sense at all so that's all i really do that's what i did to the front of my hair except for this part right here that i'm going to show you guys and this is i purposely left it just so you'll be able to see but when i wear my hair like this you'll see that i have some spaces in here and those are actually two different cornrows um, that I'm gonna go ahead and take a strand of hair 
and make the knot end up being right here where my scalp is. So I hope I am explaining that very well. Um, I don't really know how else to explain it because I think it's pretty simple. Okay, so a, another reason why I'm really liking this hair is because it's very forgiving. So if you um, are leaving a little bit more of your hair out when you are doing like a vixen or you're just leaving more hair out period just because you want to, it will definitely be able to blend without you doing it anything to your actual hair. So your actual leave out. I have not done anything to um, the front of my hair except for it was in a flat twist while I was putting in a crochet and I just undid it and just left it as is and I went to the store and I went to um the post office or whatever and I was very comfortable I wasn't like oh my gosh was somebody looking at me do they know it's on my hair you know how you kind of feel that way when you are you know when you're wearing fake hair you're like Ugh. that's why I'm so like I really want no matter what I'm wearing no matter what style I'm wearing I want my hair to look natural I don't want people to just be like even though yes you shouldn't care about people's opinion whatever um I don't want people to just automatically know it ain't my hair and I think this hair the Jamaican Mounds is definitely um hair that you can fool people into thinking that is yours so yes let me just tell you how I installed the hair it's very easy in the back all I did was keep the hair just like this I did not do any separating in the back up to about half of my head once I got halfway done on my head I went and separated those curls just to see how full it is I have the tendency to add too much hair and it end up being like just a mess so this time I wanted to do something different and actually kind of see what I was working with while I was working, if that makes sense. So I went on ahead and separated the back of my head while I was working towards the front. Once I got about, um, so dealing with the front half of my hair, I started to split it in twos and threes. Of course, the front, the very front of my hair, the very front of my head, I split it in um, threes and I worked with smaller pieces and then towards the middle I kind of just split it in two. Go ahead and get into how many styles I can come up with with this hair. you can wear while um, using the braid pattern that I used or this hair I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful useful <laughs> if you have any questions or um, comments I hope they're nice or anything like that please put them below and I, I hope you guys realize I try my best to answer every one of you guys and that's all that I have for this video uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I hope you look cute for Thanksgiving or the holidays and hopefully I'll be back to give you guys a couple more styles that you can wear um, no matter the occasion for the holiday season. So that's it. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.